guys, Gong Hao Bag Joy, Ni Hao Ma. How you doing? I hope you're having a good day, and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So, you might have guessed, but I thought today we could celebrate the Lunar or Chinese New Year. <laughs> and this year, it's the Year of the Rabbit. And I thought, what better way to do it than to test out these watercolour pen dupes I got from Paper Chase. <laughs> Let's get testing. <laughs> I tested these pens in the previous video on journal paper, but seeing as they're watercolour pens, I thought it was only right that we test them on some watercolour paper. So, let's get swatching. We'll do the fine, <laughs> sorry, fine end first, as it's um, more of a, just a normal felt tip end. But this is the end we're really excited about. watercolour brush. So let's see. Will they work? Oh, watercolour paper. I'm so excited. Oh, they do! Oh, look at that. Oh, oh how lovely. Okay, let's get swatching these babies. Gorgeous are they? Let's compare them with a Faber Castell Albrecht Durs pen so you can see the difference. Here's my swatch sheet. So there you go. You can see they're pretty similar. I'd say the only difference would be that with the Albrecht Dürr pens, they're light fast, so they won't fade uh, in direct sunlight, whereas these probably will. But so far, I am really impressed. If you're looking for some cheap watercolour pens, you know, to experiment with because you're not sure if you want to invest in the more expensive ones, <laughs> these guys are holding their own. Let's do some art with them. So here is a sketch that I've pre-drawn uh, of a bunny looking up at the moon. And yeah, let's get colouring. And I think I'm going to do a watercolour base for the background. And maybe then I'll go over on top with them more like pens. <laughs> we'll see how I feel. Okay, this just isn't working, which is strange because both papers are for water. What I'm trying to illustrate on right now is my mom marked watercolour discovery book. I've used it before and it's amazing with watercolours, but it seems to not like inks. Or shall I say, it likes inks a little bit too much and is absorbing the ink before I have time to disperse it with the water. What I swatched on is my Faber-Castell sketch pad for graphite coloured and watercolour pencils. It has a lighter GSM and it has uh, less of a tooth, so I think the ink sits on the paper for longer before it's absorbed, meaning I can spread it around more before it dries. I can continue with the Monmart book, adding the ink to the water, but I'm concerned it's really going to destroy the pens eventually, as you can see they're already starting to run out of ink in a way that I just don't like. So I think I'm going to stop and sketch on the Faber-Castell paper that I swatched with. Okay, here we are, fresh sketch, this time using the paper I swatched on, which is an important lesson. Always swatch on the paper you plan on using. Let's hope I haven't ruined the pens by getting them too wet.
see, that's the sky base. I'm gonna let it dry, then I'll go on with the next layer. Okay, let's get started with the next layer. And I'm going to start shading things, I think. I want the undersides, actually no. <laughs> I want the undersides of the clouds to be kind of warmer. Let's try this just a little bit. I think a little bit will go a long way with it. <laughs> Gently now. some shading on our bunny. I want it to have pink ears. Okay, gently now. I might do a little bit of shading on the bunny like this as well. I do want to give it a bit more shading. down at the bottom. I'm going to use the brush side, literally as a brush now. We need to neaten these lines up a little bit. I think I'm going to use these, the sanguine pit markers. I'm just going to use the finest one to just do a little bit of lining, but nothing crazy. There's this whole bit you've forgotten. Don't worry. I thought I'd go in with this really red acrylic pen to get a lovely red ribbon.
maybe I'll go in with this silver too. Here's my final piece. What do you think? I have to say, once I found the right paper to use them with, they were an absolute joy and didn't feel any different than the Faber Castell Albrecht Duo watercolor pens. Though, well, unlike the Faber Castell Albrecht Duo watercolor pens, they will fade in time if you put them in direct sunlight. So maybe best to keep for a watercolor sketchbook. I really liked the choice of colors. They create a really pastel feel that really suits dreamy illustrations and I can't wait to use them again. Maybe I've inspired you to have a go at using watercolour markers. They get a bit of a bad reputation because people say, well, I can just use markers or I can just use watercolour, which is fair. But as you can see, if you put a little bit of hard work in, you can create something just as pretty. Thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favourite part was, if you could leave a comment in the comment section below. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and share this video, and leave a comment, that would- wait, have I already said that? <laughs> well, that would be amazing. <laughs> You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram and TikTok, links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions. And actually, I have a question about companions. Do any of you guys actually read it? Because I'm continuing to work on it, but I don't know if it's worth me updating it online if no one's actually reading it. I might just save it to like publish at some point. So please let me know if you do want to continue reading on its online form. And I'll see you next time. Bye!